Continental Cup second round action in Group B. The four-team tournament sees Riga in the first game coming up against The Hague. And what a game it turned out to be. It was free-flowing, there was plenty of goals. The NIC lights were down, the fans from Riga were there and ready. And so too, Corey Nielsen, head coach of the Nottingham Panthers, and Rick Strachan, his trusted assistant, ready for the first game, seeing what they could learn. Both these two teams, Nottingham, were to play later in the tournament. It was a good start for Riga. They got away and they got on the board early. A nice goal there. The opening goal of the game coming at 13.32. Well finished, well worked there. And it is by Seskas scoring the first goal of the game. And Riga were leading by one goal to nil. But don't count out the team from the Netherlands. They came back quite quickly and they levelled the game at 20.09. So the only goal of the first period went the way of Riga and the early goal in the second period was scored there by number six, Alexander Henry. But Riga came back, straight back they came and they scored at 23.09. Richard's contrast with the goal, so that was 2-1. And then a turning point maybe in the game. There was a hit on the boards and it resulted in a bit of a scuffle. You'll see this. Now, who says European hockey doesn't get feisty. Thought the referees were going to penalise lots of things in these games, but this was close to a fight. Don't often see that in IIHF games, but what it did mean was Riga were to go on a five-on-three power play. They had 137 of that five-on-three power play, and I say a turning point because they scored again on this power play. 26-39 was to be the time of the goal. Plenty of room on the ice, and a team as skillful as that from Latvia where it may not have looked pretty, but it did go in. And that 3-1 scoreline was important. Number 88, Rudolf Matoski scoring the goal. And 3-1 at that stage. And you just felt then that the side from Latvia were going to go on and take control of the game. And so it was. They were coming down the ice really nicely here. Good touching, good passing. It opened up in front of the net. And that was goal number four coming at 27-15. And it is Sarkanis with the goal. And at 4-1, you felt the Hague had got really an uphill struggle. Another goal in the second period, and it was no surprise that it went to Riga. Again, good work. They were strong on the puck, and they were skillful. A youthful side, although there are some older players in the team. That shot coming in from left point, and that made the scoreline 5-1. And the goal being credited there to Brzezinski, and it was 5-1. And surely there, the Hague were running out of time to get back into the game. But they kept on going and they did score another goal before the period was out on the power play. The man left alone at the back door was Collins. So it was 5-2 and the period was coming to a close. And he felt the Hague had to strike early in period three if they were going to get back into this game. But a giveaway and it was Riga coming forward again. Well worked, good skills and then the puck falls nicely and the puck goes into the back of the net and it is Kermis and he scores to make it 6-2. Still time for further scoring as well. Very open game. Great way to start the tournament. Good crowd in the NIC. I'd say probably as many as 12 or 1300. A good start to the game. Of course, it was an afternoon face-off. That was a lovely goal to get goal number seven for Riga. One end of the ice basically to the other and Kermis scoring that, making it 7-2. The Panthers fans applauding, really appreciating what they've seen. An open game, two skillful sides and two teams that will be more than a match for the Panthers. A great stretch pass there for goal number eight. Again, a, a skillful finish, a clever finish. The man may have gone falling to the floor, but goal number eight scored for Riga and they led 8-2. And there was still, what, half the game or should I say half the period to go. And there was time for that scoring to be increased. It was, though, only going to be a goal for the Hague not for the Latvians, and that goal going in at 59.50, would you believe, and the final goal of the night being scored there to make it 8-3. Plenty of action to come. It's going to be a tight couple of games. Don't book your trip to Italy yet, Panthers fans. There's plenty of action to come.